given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe in the business What's up everybody, Bryce here again with another episode of Card Talk. We're on day 91 now, so we're just a little over three months in. Uh, just giving you all an update. Uh, PSA sent me an email, I don't know if you guys saw it on my Instagram post or not, or any other of my social media outlets, but they finished grading Giannis, he's on the way, he should be here Tuesday, so I'll shoot a video of me opening his card later on this week, so keep an eye out for that. I've still been hitting uh, soccer cards really, really hard. The player that I want to mention, uh, Jaden Sancho, his rookie cards are pretty low priced. His Don Russ rated rookie uh, base cards. If you guys are like me and you don't have a ton of uh, cash to be spending on all these cards, his rookie card, Don Russ rated rookie, might be worth something looking into, especially since the summer transfer window hasn't hit yet. So when this summer, it, he's been linked to a lot of different places, a lot of different moves. So if you buy his card now while it's lower priced, and then after he gets transferred to another team, like for example, Man United, that would be sweet. Then his card values will start to go up. Trades are often or transfers, trades and transfers in any sports really are often a pretty good indicator of people paying more attention to that player and therefore driving their card prices up. Uh, I saw an offer from a seller today for a Tobin Heath autograph card for about $17. It was within my price range, so I think I'm going to go ahead and pick that up soon, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, I also want to try a little bit something different today, so I actually wanted to show you guys my own card collection just to kind of have a little bit of fun and see um, everything I've collected since I was a little kid. Um, I just kept all these cards for years and I've never really looked at them or I've tried researching some of them, but I just never really got anywhere, especially since I was new to the hobby at the time. So uh, let's take a look and let's see what we got. All right, guys, so I pulled them all out of the box. It's a giant USPS box. Let's kind of take a look at some of these. And I actually, I'm gonna go through the soccer cards first because I want to highlight some of the nuances that some of you might not realize with Panini Prism cards. So first of all, Kevin De Bruyne, red, white, and blue Prism. Not serial number or anything. Really cool card though, nonetheless. We've got a couple of rookies here. We've got uh, Jed Steer, the Aston Villa keeper. Red Mosaic Prism, I guess you want to call it. Parallel, perhaps. Serial number to 109. Interesting card, nonetheless. Same here with, looks like Mr. Issa Diop, the defender out of West Ham. So, a couple of these cards I want to see. You'll see a lot of these cards have sort of a silver hue to them. You know, they've got that chrome reflection to them. So you might be thinking to yourself, oh, these are Panini Prism uh, Silvers. Which, I'm going to show you how to tell the difference between what's a Panini Prism Silver and what's just a Panini Prism Base. So, for example, Diago Delo. His rookie card is a base card. When I, when I move this card around... You can see here that there's no rainbow hue given off. It just remains that chromey silver sort of uh, appeal to it. However, if I change over to this Wolfried Zaha card, this man is faster than lightning, and he was a United Academy product, so he's got a soft spot in my heart. But we can see here that Wolfried Zaha, when I move, start to move him around, you can start to see this rainbowish hue kind of given off. See right there, that's a pretty good angle if you look at the upper left-hand corner of the card. By doing that, guys, that this Wolfried Zaha card is a Panini Prism Silver. That's how you tell the difference. If it's got the silver shoe on it, it's a Panini Prism Silver. If it's like this card and it just keeps having that uh, chrome look to it with no rainbow hue given off, it's just a base card. So again, here's another example that I just noticed, actually. John McGinn out of Aston Villa, the rookie midfielder. See that rainbow shoe given off at the upper right-hand corner. Left-hand corner, I'm sorry. So that's just one of the nuances I kind of wanted to highlight. Um, all these cards come from different collections. Some of them are from this year, Panini Prism 2019-2020. Here's Harvey Barnes as a rookie midfielder out of Leicester. But we've got a whole bunch of other guys too. But we also get into Topps Update Series too. A couple of rookies here. Isaac Galloway out of Miami. Christian Yelich and Orlando Arcia kind of celebrating here. I'm not a Brewers fan. I'm a Cubs fan. So this card... Makes me cringe a little bit, but hey, I respect both of their games to the highest degree. Eloy Jimenez, the rookie out of the Chicago White Sox organization. Josh James, the rookie pitcher out of the Astros organization. Not exactly the most liked bunch as of right now, given what's going on in the baseball world and getting accused of cheating. And then we also get into Warren Spahn, Tom Glavin as the NL Cy Young winners. 
Kristen Stewart, the rookie out of Detroit. Interesting looking card. All these are from Topps Update Series 2 packs. We've got a whole bunch of other players out of a lot of different teams. Robert Snodgrass, the right midfielder from West Ham United. I only know he's a right midfielder because I pay attention to soccer quite a bit. It'll just tell you that he's a midfielder on this card. It won't say what area of the midfield he plays in. Kind of interesting red, white, and blue prism card. Angelo Ogbana. I believe the West Ham defender. Not serial numbered or anything like that. No big deal. We've got a couple of Liverpool legends, as they're going to be called after they win the league. Mr. Henderson, Mr. Milner. Milner's ice cold in the penalty area and taking penalty shots if you haven't watched him. I respect the heck out of his game as well. Jordan Henderson, solid FIFA pickup if any of you are curious about that. We've got a ton of other players here. Nathan Ake, the Bournemouth defender. He is Dutch. Respect his game because he's going to be a great defender for years to come, especially since he's only in his early 20s. Ben Mendy, the Manchester City player, the Noisy Neighbors, the defender. Mr. Anwar El Ghazi, it looks like. Yes, El Ghazi. The midfielder out of Aston Villa. And like I said, guys, if you just want to know whether it's a Panini Prism Silver or base, just move it around like this. If it's a chrome uh, hue, that indicates that's a base. But if it starts to give off a rainbowy texture, that's the indicator that is a silver. But we'll just kind of keep moving along here, guys, because a lot of these cards I've actually opened in a previous video. I'll link that video down in the description below if you're more curious about that. So, another Panini Prism card, Harvey Barnes, the midfielder out of Leicester. Mr. Kobe Bryant, I believe this is his second year card, numbered seal number to 3,800. I don't believe Sage is even a, uh, a brand anymore, so this is kind of interesting. These two cards... Tops Chrome, both Sean Alexander, Terrell Owens, both icons. Don't know if they're in the Hall of Fame quite yet, but they're both serial number to 101. Really interesting cards they have. I bought these as a card at a card show when I was like 9, 10 years old. Mr. Ichiro Suzuki from the 06 World Baseball Classic. His game-worn jersey piece. A couple of random cards. These are just bonus cards I got in a card pack that I bought. Uh, James Harden, Donruss Optic, Terrence Ross, Paul Millsap. If any of these teams make the playoffs, these guys, the even if it's just a random card, they might even go up in value as well. Something to keep in mind. And then, of course, with the Last Dance documentary going on, it wouldn't be a card collection without Michael Jordan. I bought these years ago, probably for a dollar a piece, but this is a Top Prospects Michael Jordan card when he was with North Carolina. And then here's his numbers from college. And then this is just the 97-98 Fleer card of Michael Jordan, not his rookie or anything like that. Derek Lee autograph card. This is my favorite player growing up. No certificate of authenticity or anything like that, so it might just been he just put a signature on it. Randomly for a fan. Don't even know where I really got that card, if I'm being honest. Glenn Rice jersey card out of Houston. Not serial numbered or anything like that. Gary Payton, the Seattle Supersonics legend. Solid guy. Solid player. Interesting jersey, nonetheless. Flair, Diamond Cuts, Greg Maddox jersey card. Former Chicago Cub great. Miss watching him play. He was a magician. Jose Consenco. Bat piece, tape on the bat barrel. Retired in 2002. What a guy. Looks like we've got a couple of Ja Morant rookies. I picked these up a while back with a friend as an investment piece. All kinds of different cards here. So, like, we've got a pink prism. I guess it's a refractor, perhaps. NBA hoops. You can see the RC at the bottom. This is just a keeping consistency with what's a silver and what's a base. This is a base card, guys. When I roll it around, there's no rainbow hue given off. There's that rookie card at the upper left-hand corner. More NBA hoops. John Morant rookies. You can see the RC at the top right. Perhaps my favorite card in the election. The Honorable Madam Carly Lloyd, serial numbered to 149. This is an on sticker, or this is a sticker auto, if you guys can't see the outline of the sticker right there. On card autos are more valuable than sticker autos, but nonetheless, this is a piece of greatness. This particular autograph is a piece of greatness. It's fantastic. And Carly Lloyd's a legend, so hooray. Marcus Rashford, I like Marcus Rashford, so this is just a $1 card pickup I had not too long ago. Red Mosaic Prism, if I'm not mistaken, from the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Hank Aaron Brewer's card. This card's actually from 1975. I believe this is relatively sought after. 
It's got some damage around the edges, so I mean, not too exciting. Sorry guys, I keep getting distracted by this Carly Lloyd card. I love this card, this thing is fantastic. And Carly Lloyd's just one of the greatest women's players of all time, so respect the heck out of her game as well. Rafael Palmero, I bought this card for a dollar at, I believe the card show at the end of the day, I think the guy just wanted to get rid of it. I was probably 10 years old at the time. Leaf Limited 2003, seal number to 25, with certificate of authenticity. Don't really, not a big fan of Rafael Palmero. I just got, I just like grabbed a random envelope, paid a dollar for it, and then away I went with that card. Freddy Garcia, Topps Chrome. I don't know if this is his uh, autograph card. It looks like it. If it is, he's got some fantastic handwriting. Serial numbered also to 170. Interesting. And this, guys, this is, I believe, a hoax card. This is kind of funny because I was a, this is like the first card I bought with my friend. It's a Lamello Ball Leaf Draft card. It says Gem Mint 10 on there, graded. But it doesn't say PSA, doesn't say which graded company. Maybe this is the grading company first graded, never heard of them before, so I'm thinking this is a hoax card, but I don't know, just a lesson learned, it's just kind of funny. Who knows, maybe if any of you know anything about that grading company. Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear more about it. Tyler Hero, I've picked up a quite a few of his rookie cards actually, whether they be Don Russ, Panini, Great Expectations. Me and my friend think Tyler Hero is going to be a really good player for a long time, so for example, his Don Russ, Great Expectations... We'll come upon his cards in just a couple minutes. Yeah, here we go. More rated rookies, Donruss. More great expectations. More Donruss rated rookie. You guys get the idea. We've got a, quite a few of his rookie cards. I believe we bought 10 to 12. I think we should buy more. Oh, here is two more. See, I spoke too soon. We think he's going to be... We think the whole Miami Heat team is really underrated, especially since they're the third seed in the East. They're going to make some noise. Their cards are going to go up in value. More John Morant rookies, Don Russ rated rookie, of course. This one I think was a really good pickup for us. Uh, rookie card, Zach Levine. This is an on-card auto. For those of you who don't know, I just mentioned this with the Carly Lloyd card. On-card autos are a little bit more sought after because they're a lot more rare. Usually players just autograph stickers on like a sheet and they just autograph hundreds of them at a time and then the grading or the card companies put the sticker on the card. But in this case, Zach Levine autographed it right on the card making it a little bit more valuable. And it's his rookie card, by the way. Serial numbered to 260. Good pickup, Zach Levine of the Chicago Bulls currently. This is a souvenir card I picked up at the Field of Dreams when I was a child. I went to visit them in Iowa. More of a souvenir than anything. Steve McNair, RIP, the legend quarterback out of the Tennessee Titans, his jersey card. Not really serial numbered or anything, but cool card nonetheless. Britt Burns, the White Sox pitcher, not a rookie card or anything like that. This card is super old, though. I believe it's from the early 80s. Yep, 81. Peyton Manning, his Topps Chrome card. I believe this is his second year card. Serial numbered to 500. Maybe it's his rookie card. I'm not really sure, but there's really no indication on here that I can see. Not a big football fan either, honestly, guys, so it's just kind of there. Really interesting Babe Ruth card fishing. <laughs> I believe that's Lou Gehrig with him. Just kind of an interesting Cooperstown collection card to have, I suppose. This is probably the most interesting card in my collection, a Lou Gehrig gold card. I don't think it's in really good condition, but I've just never seen a card anywhere remotely like this. If you guys know anything about this card, feel free to drop it down in the comments below. It's just, it's just interesting, I suppose. It's kind of cool to have. Shea Gilgis Alexander, I believe this is his rookie card. The only indication that I have that it is his rookie card is the fact that his Kentucky numbers are on here, and it talks about in the caption down here that him being drafted by the Clippers. This guy's going to be good as well. At least that's what experts are predicting. And then this are the Gavin Lux Tops Update Series 1 rookies that I've been picking up the last few weeks. As evidenced in my uh, previous videos, so if you guys haven't checked those out, feel free to do so if you'd like a little bit more information on the hobby or just want to have some fun. That's what this is all about, guys. Just having some fun. Tops Update Series 1 rookie cards. There's the Rookie RC logo at the bottom left-hand corner, and this is what the back of the card looks like. And it'll say in the upper right-hand corner, Tops Update Series 1, right there. Uh, Jason Tatum, this was another card I got as a bonus, and as a Donruss, I believe it's an Optic. No, it's just Donruss, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's a second-year card or not, I'm trying to remember when Jason Tatum got drafted, but if it's a second-year card, this would be actually be kind of a cool free bonus card, I will say. Kevin Durant... His tops 2007 rookie card out of uh, the Seattle Supersonics. I picked up this card not too long ago for about 15, 20 bucks, I think it was. Rookie series to 
Interesting card. He's going to be a monster next year when he returns back from injury and him and Kyrie take over the world. Derek Jeter Pinnacle Rookie Card. This is an interesting card to have just because Derek Jeter's an all-time great. And you can see right on the back, it says clearly for us, rookie. So really nice distinction. Another John Morant Pink Crusade Rookie Card. The indication I have on this card that he's a rookie is one, he's got all his college gear on. And plus, it all it talks about is him being a high draft pick on the back of this card. So, brings us to the last stack. Forever Cubs, Mr. Billy Williams out of the Fleer Greats. This card is actually serial numbered to 149. As a Cubs fan, this is kind of a cool collector's item to have. Does it have a too lot of sentimental value to me? Not really. This is one of the first cards I ever picked up in my collection, though. My baseball coach actually gave this one to me when I was younger. This card is really interesting. Alan Page, the defensive tackle out of Minnesota. It's got some wear on the bottom. No big deal, though. Just collecting for fun. But this card is from the 70s, guys. 71. This is by far the oldest card I have in my collection. So, interesting to have. Mr. Carmelo Anthony out of Denver winning materials. A couple jersey pieces. This card looks like it's from Wisconsin. Melo with the Nuggets. Glad that guy's still playing. He's fun to watch. Not a huge Melo fan, but hey. Game recognized game, right? So, rookie prospect Tom Glavin, 1988. This is probably from the Junk Wax era, but guys, I want to point out, if I didn't mention this already in the video, oh, it's also serial numbered to 660. I also want to point out, if you have Junk Wax cards, look them up on eBay to see if they're graded or not, and if they are graded, how much they go for. This can be a really good source of profit for you who might not have a ton of money to invest in the hobby. Like myself, I don't have a ton of money to invest in this hobby. So a common strategy I've heard is take these Junk Wax cards, and if you think they have a high chance of getting graded a 9 or 10, go ahead, have them graded, and then you can flip them for profit. It's just one technique that I've seen quite a few budget collectors like myself do, so something worth trying, perhaps. Three cards left. Hank Aaron, Sport Magazine. This looks like a Topps Archives 2002 card. Hank Aaron's obviously a baseball legend, needless to say. For those of you who don't know who Hank Aaron is, go ahead and Google him. Really fascinating card. Looks to be in decent shape, too. And then a couple Barry Bonds cards. So I don't know if this is a top Tiffany Barry Bonds card. If any of you do know, feel free to drop it down in the comments below. I'm curious myself. I can't figure it out whether or not it's a top Tiffany. I've tried looking it up in the past. But anyways, um, yeah, so top Tiffany. This Barry Bonds card, really interesting. I believe it's his rookie card because if you see here, it's only got his minor league and only one season of his major league batting stats. Or maybe it's a second year card. I guess we'll see. So, last but not least, I probably shouldn't have dropped it on accident. I've got Butterfingers. FGA grading. I don't even know if this grading company exists anymore, guys. But nonetheless, graded Gem Mint 10. There's a lower seat on the back. I think this was at one time a, a certified grading company. Like I said, I don't know if they exist anymore. But regardless, we've got quite a pristine... Barry Bonds card on our hands. Something interesting to kind of keep her on. So guys, that was the card collection. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something new. And like I said, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having as much fun with this as I am. And it's all about learning, having fun, and sharing ideas. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. Have an awesome day.